We're standing in front of the monument of uh, John Morrison Gibson. He was Sir Gibson, John Gibson. How did he get to the Sir? Let me tell you. As a boy, he uh, lived on a farm in Hagersville, and that house still exists on Highway 6, and it's a designated property under the Heritage Act because of this man uh, growing up there. Uh, he was sent by the family because he was the one that was going to pull the uh, family out of uh, uh, poverty and uh, farm life and he was sent to Hamilton to uh, the Central School and he became the head boy at Central uh, Public. A head boy was like a teacher's pet and uh, what happened was that uh, he had the best marks uh, and when the prince uh, from uh, uh, England came to open up the uh, uh, waterworks uh, 1859-1860. What happened was that he was chosen uh, by uh, the principal to turn on the fountain in Gore Park and he met the prince. In 1866 he was in the 13th Battalion and he fought at the Battle of Ridgeway uh, fighting off the Finians uh, invasion. He was there. He was a very busy man. He went to the U University of Toronto, became a lawyer, came back to Hamilton, and became the lawyer of the city of Hamilton for the rest of his life. In the 1890s, he met another group of men, all named John, four of them, and they became known in Hamilton as the Five Johns. They had something interesting in their mind. What they had done is they decided that they were going to use Tesla's theory of alternating current, turn the DeQ Falls into a, a hydro generating plant, and skip the electricity across the Niagara Peninsula to Hamilton, making electricity come to Hamilton for the very first time. It worked, and they never looked back they were entrepreneurs and they made a lot of money. They reached out even further and they started the radio lines. They, these were trolleys, railways that went all like a spider web all over southern Ontario. One went north to Oakville, one went uh, west to Brantford, one went east to uh, Beamsville and we had one that also went up to uh, Ancaster and the trail is still there today. The idea of this was that all those products from the outside were coming into Hamilton and the, what they needed was a local area downtown for all these trolleys to show up. It was called Terminal Towers where Terminal Towers is today. It was the terminal building and it was the offices of the Cataract Power Company. That is in downtown Hamilton and everything came in and everything went back out. We were a hub of a transportation uh, system by this, these guys. He went on to become a politician and he became the Governor General of Ontario, making him Sir John Gibson.